Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers using Python's Curses library. Our viewer asks, is it possible to get the default background color using Curses in Python? They want to know how to change just the foreground color without altering the default background. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answers, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To use the default background color in Python's Curses library, you can start by calling the function useDefaultColors. However, when you want to change the foreground color while keeping the default background, you need to initialize a color pair. This requires specifying a background color. If you want to keep the default background color, you can use Magus1 as the background color when initializing the color pair. This way, you can change just the foreground color without altering the default background color of the terminal. In summary, to change only the foreground color while keeping the default background, use Nagas1 as the background parameter in a knit pair. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To get the default background color in Python using curses, you can use the inch method on the stescr window. This will return the character and its attributes at position zero. You can extract the color information using a bitwise operation. There's also the getBKGD method, which returns the current background character and attribute pair. However, its exact output can be a bit unclear. On Unix systems, default colors are 9 as 1 for both foreground and background, while on Windows, they are 7 for foreground and 0 for background. You can reliably get these values with a specific sequence of curses calls. I hope that video helped get through to the resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a great one. Cheers.